subscribe and thank you so much for coming again to my YouTube channel to watch another one of my tutorials. So before I jump straight in, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Most importantly, do not forget to press that bell for notifications so you can stay updated with all of the content that I put out. A few of you are asking questions and I know it's videos that I've already put out there so it'll be absolutely amazing if you do press that notification button so that you do not miss when I answer your questions. Also comment below, um, do not forget to do that. If there's anything that I haven't quite covered in this video or if there is something that you would like me to answer or you'd like me to do a video on, please do comment below. Um, I can definitely help you as much as possible. But before you ask that question, do not forget to look through my entire channel to make sure that I haven't already answered your question. Also, if you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Your support means everything. So although I already have done a video on fashion stylist finances where I talk all things money, you know, clothing budgets, how much to charge, I did miss out one vital element. And someone recently asked me this question, you know, how is it that you invoice your clients? So for you to be able to create a perfect invoice, I'm gonna literally work from the top all the way down to the bottom just to kind of help cover all the things that you could have in place to you know create something that looks professional and something that's clear for clients to see i have these things in place so that it kind of eliminates the backward and forward in terms of um, payments you know delaying any payments all of that sort of stuff Okay, so let's start off with what a invoice is. So an invoice is a professional way of basically presenting and listing out um, goods or services. It is a way of presenting, you know, an obligation for someone to pay for something. Invoices are an important part of you being freelance, um, anyone that's self-employed and is selling um, goods or services, you know, invoices. It's, it's like a receipt. It's a really good way of keeping on top of your finances. And also it is the above board thing to do. So if you're gonna ask why you need to do an invoice, again, it is something important that you need to have in place for accounting, bookkeeping, tax returns, all of that sort of stuff. Again, it helps with organization and for you to keep on top of everything. I have mentioned in my finances video that it's really quite useful to have one account specifically for any type of business payment. This helps to stay on top of any of your expenses, payments that have been made, payments that have been received, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So let's first go with templates. We can get templates everywhere. I think the template that I got was on Microsoft. They have a few templates on their website which you can directly download. It kind of eliminates a lot of the stress um, of kind of like just, you know, designing everything, you know, just see something simple that you like, take it, and then you can just obviously uh, develop it and tweak it however you want it. So for me, I have my own logo. Um, I put my logo at the top of the invoice. Again, this for me is part of branding. Any letters that I send out, any notes that I have, I kind of do like that letterhead thing. So for branding, for me, I put my logo on the top. They are familiar with the logo. I'm hoping that loads of people that I work with and people that see me are familiar with my logo, my colors, all of that, it matters in terms of template. First of all, you need to make sure that you have the date there. This obviously, again, it's essential for accounting and bookkeeping. It helps people, yourself and your client, you know, know when this invoice was made. So the second thing that you need to have in place is the invoice number. 
So every business year, I basically reset my invoices and therefore, you know, your first invoice will have number one, your second invoice will have number two, your third invoice would have number three, whatever it is. Um, so just make sure that you've got a number there. Most clients don't actually ask for it. I've, I've noticed that, but I have had someone who um, did request it. And from that moment then, I just added it onto my invoices just to make it a little bit more simpler in case anyone else needs it. You know, you don't want these small things delaying your payment. Thirdly, you're gonna have to have your contact there. So I've put my contact details there. And then I've also put the contact details for the person that I'm invoicing. So make sure that whenever you are invoicing a company, you try and ask for the invoice details, like who do I invoice it to? This is that section where you need to make sure that you put those details there. So as you can see on my invoice, I have put the number of days which I should receive payment and also when the due date is. So say for example, I receive payment within seven days of the, the job. I have made sure that my terms are seven days. And then also beside it, I've put, you know, this is the day of when I should receive my payment by. And then obviously it would be seven days from when I had done the job. A good tip for this is to make sure that you discuss your payment terms with your client. Um, I've had so many stresses with payments, especially late payments. And even though sometimes you may actually verbally say to people, this is my payment terms. I'm not doing the job if you do not respect my payment terms, even though they'll be like, yeah, 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 it's fine. Some people still manage to pay you late. And there has been a number of people, especially magazines that um, I have stopped working with because they just do not respect you as a creative and they don't pay you on time. They just completely ignore the payment dates. And, um, you know, some people may look at me not working with these magazines as bougie, but at the end of the day, I just feel like in this industry, we should really, really respect each other in terms of payments because, you know, stylists, we, we do the job, you know, we do the job on the day. So at the end of the day, I just think if we've done the job, we should be paid for it. Even some clients, they actually pay you 30 days after the job. So um, again, you just need to clarify this and make sure that it is on the invoice so that you have everything in place. This is also good with accounting and bookkeeping for yourself because you would know that by this date, I should be expecting that payment and you can kind of like, do you like a cash forecast so that you kind of know what you're expecting and this is coming in this month and that's, you know, needs to come out. It helps. So this is the section which is really important. I would keep it as simple as possible. Um, you guys, you've seen my video on when I'm talking about, you know, dealing with difficult clients. And again, in that video, I speak about a magazine where I literally broke down my invoice. Now, although I had agreed a specific amount, say for example, I agreed on a hundred pounds with that client, um, that client refused to pay me a hundred pounds because I wrote on my invoice that I spend 10 pound on food. They were like, we don't cover, um, we don't cover food expenses. And they literally paid me 90 pounds. Even though before I had done the job, we agreed on hundred pounds as my rate. So you've got to be really careful with what you put on that chunk. Make it as simple as possible. This line, it says, my fashion stylist services cost this amount. If you've spoken to your client and they're covering your travel expenses, put my travel expenses, it was literally one day, this is how much it cost, and then you add it to the total. Make sure that every line is totaled up and you have a total amount. And again, just make sure that this is covered by the client. Just have that discussion. What are you covering for me? If they are paying you extra for a clothing budget, make sure that you add the necessary details there. Yeah, just add the necessary details because you don't wanna miss out anything. I also put my payment terms. So 
again when I speak to my client and I say you know payment is seven days I also let them know before the job so I have it written in email so it's on paper so that they cannot you know say oh you didn't tell me if it's later than seven days every um, five working days that the payment is late I put a percentage increase on that payment I have that in place so that they know they are locked in legally to say like this was my terms you agreed to it you know and I even think smaller contracts with people that are more difficult are, are really really important to have in place but just make sure that your invoice agreement um, your terms and conditions for your invoice just make sure that it's there on on that invoice and even if you can I don't really like doing it but um, if it's someone that's kind of a little bit sketchy send it to them before so that they have it there in place you know and again it just eliminates any sort of delay and lastly do not forget your payment details so this simply will be your sort code and your account number but I will also tell you to put your IBAN number and your SWIFT code. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Contact your bank for those details because I've had some international clients, clients even that are based in America or, you know, Milan, Italy, and they've asked for these details. So have these in place. Um, so that, again, it just kind of eliminates any delay. How many times have I said this? I've lost count, but guys, I'm creating this video because I'm so tired of late payments and delay payments. And I just wanna make sure that you guys have these small things on point once you start getting clients who are actually paying you. So I'm hoping that you guys did find this tutorial helpful and hopefully it brings you one step closer to getting your payments on time definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated but guys make sure in this video if there's anything that i didn't cover or if there's anything that i actually missed comment below with your questions as always guys i wish you much success in your career and i'm hoping that my videos can take you one step closer to being successful see you soon bye